Hello and welcome once again to another Hornby Magazine video. Today we're looking at Hornby's new TT range. So we're here in the boss's office and we've set up some of Hornby's new TT range. Mike, talk us through what we've got here. Right, so we've got a, a simple TT120 layout set up here on the, uh, the desk today, which is normally where my computer is. Um, it's looking it's, remarkably tidy. It is looking remarkably tidy. It won't last very long. <laughs> so, uh, the premise was that we've got the, the first opportunity to take a closer look at the new Hornby TT120 range. Um, it's designed so you can get a full circuit with third radius curves into about five foot by just under three foot. Um, my desk just happened to be the right size. So we've laid that out, got the trains running, checked it all out and seen how the things join together. So you've got a selection of track here. We haven't got a full circle effectively of anything, just a selection of each radius and bits of pieces, haven't we? Yeah, that's right. So on, on this setup we've got here, we've actually got first, second and third radius track on it. Uh, we've got the left and the right hand points, we've got straights, we've got the power track, uh, and then that's been able to be put together in a way where actually we can have a third radius curve at the end where the blue A4 is. We've got a second radius curve at the opposite end, and then just where the green A4 is here, uh, that's leading into the first radius curve as well. So it gives an understanding of, of what the different curve radius would be in terms of the Hornby's new set track collection. How easily does the track go together? Well, this is very much like putting double O gauge Hornby track together. Uh, it's got pre-fitted fish plates at each end of each section of track. You just line them up, slide them together, they all join up to give you instant electrical continuity and everything works out of the box. And it's also compatible with the Pico similar track. That's right, so uh, Hornby's uh, rail profile is code 80 rail profile. Uh, and the Pico track, which is slightly finer scale, has got a Code 55 rail profile. Uh, because of the design of that rail profile, you can actually join the two together. You might just have to do a very little bit of light sanding on the end of the, the Code 80 where it joins the Code 55, uh, but they do actually have the same height because part of the depth of the Code 55 rail profile is buried inside the sleepers. So what we've got here demonstrates the whole ethos of TT, the tabletop, if you like. Um, you've got everything pretty much set up on your desktop. Yeah, that's right. So it, it was very much the intention with this this um, test track here we built literally for this video. Um, and we did a different one when we did the initial testing of the models as well. Um, essentially, you've got all those different radius, but actually there's the bakings of, of quite an interesting track plan here as well. Uh, with a few simple changes to this, we could soon have a double circuit running around this as well. So if we had another um, half curve of uh, third radius, we could put that at this end, a couple more straights, join that together, to create the full circuit on the outer where the blue A4 is. And then if we change this section of track out here for a left-hand point, then I could put a curve of second radius track back around in there as well. Uh, we'd probably get rid of the first radius section or cut it off to be a siding then. And then you'd have two full independent circuits then very quickly here. Now this one has been set up as um, an analog setup, a DC, but with the locomotives fitted with DCC decoder sockets, of course, you could connect it up and run it as a DCC layout. Well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you can you can join this to DCC control as well. So they've all got next 18 decoder sockets inside the locomotives. Nice and simple to put a decoder into them, and then you can have them working with DCC. The range from Hornby is expanding quite quickly now with quite a few products. This is just a small selection of what's now available. They've had sets, but also more items are coming through even down to the individual little um, track pins and all those sort of things coming through. Yeah, so they've developed quite a nice collection of accessories. Um, the first running stock to come through, well, we had the, the, the A3s and the A4s are both now available. And there's a third version of the A4 as well as, as um, Mallard as well. Um, they've also got the first sets of coaches out now as well. So you can buy the BR Mark ones and either the BSK, as in brake second corridor, or corridor composite, so the CK versions. Uh, or you can buy the Pullman coaches in brake third or in first class kitchen car format at the moment. So there's two versions of each coach, but different running numbers and things at the moment. Um, but there are more vehicles and running stock coming through progressively from Hornby as well. Now what I like about some of these items and the Pullman cars, a good example actually, is that they follow that ethos from the double O models where they've got that extra finesse of detail um, down to handrails, down to interior lighting. Yeah, actually, I, I do like the fact that actually the, the, the Pullman cars have got the lighting in, like you'd expect from a double gauge coach. I think that's nice to see that kind of feature brought through on tour. It's a really a premium coach. Everyone loves a Pullman car in the day. 
the Mark 1s equally, as soon as I opened the box for those, it, was like, it, it felt literally like they'd brought the shrink ray out and reduced it down from the 00 gauge coach to create the TT120 one. Um, again, nicely built, nicely put together, nice level of detail underneath. Um, really nicely decorated as well in that BR maroon livery as well. So to the motive power then, talk us through the A4s. Right, so these are really rather nice actually, attractive locomotives and I think a good choice for a first loco. I mean, if you're gonna do anything to attract attention to something, it's gotta be the Gresley A4, isn't it? Um, so they've got a locomotive mounted motor, uh, they've got a Next 18 decoder socket and a 15 by 11 Q speaker in the tender as well. Uh, the only thing I did notice is that the baffle for the speaker is, is quite shallow. Um, so I'd be interested to see what we can do with sound in those by making some modifications as you might expect that I would do with any kind of locomotive when it comes to sound. They run really nicely, they've got plenty of haul capacity as well. I mean the green one here we actually had it running on all 12 coaches we got here. Um, it did struggle a little bit on the first radius curves but you know that's a bit of a tall order for, for any loco. Um, and that is my only other comment I would make about these is that the, the A4s being long Pacifics once they're on the second radius or tighter curves they're a little bit tight for them because they are big locomotives um, but there are smaller locomotives coming as well which would be suitable for those. You alluded to the fact that it's got uh, a speaker fitted of course you'll be able to install for example Hornby's TXS sound. Yeah. Yeah, so they've actually got dedicated sound files for triple X sound to suit the TT locomotives, both for the A3 and the A4. They're already available in the HM7000 app. Fantastic, and that's a very simple process of just... Yeah, it's identical to how we've shown with the Class 56 in um, Hornby Magazine in the latest issue. Uh, in terms of the actual loading of the sound process, obviously the actual installation process is slightly different. Uh, but these have been designed quite well to actually have that already in mind with TXS. So you literally do just need to plug the decoder in and then link it to your app and load up your sound profile. So those are the A4s. There are other locomotives available and more to come. Yeah, so the, there's already A3s are starting to come into the market. The first ones of those came through in the train sets. Now the individual A3s are starting to arrive as well. Uh, we're hoping to see our sample of an A3 very soon here in the Hornby Magazine office. Uh, and then the, the next loco that's due is the 08. Um, so that's the little 08 diesel shunter. Uh, that's uh, coming in BR blue, um, it's GBRF colours and one of the livery as well. Uh, it's just a shame there's not a green one to go with the A4s because that would have been a nice shunting logo to have running alongside these. It would look good. Yeah. Nicely matched, wouldn't yeah, it, of course. Maybe an opportunity for me to carry out a repaint. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, rolling stock as well. Yeah, absolutely. So like I said, we've got the, the Mark 1s and the Pullman cars here right now. Uh, the first, the freight wagons start to arrive as well. So the, we've got those coming up as a review in the next issue of Hornby Magazine as well. Uh, and we've also got Scaledale buildings are already here as well. Again, we've got the separate reviews coming on those. Uh, and interestingly, other suppliers have started to come into the market with TT120 products as well. Uh, and in the latest issue of the magazine, we've got a collection of the latest accessory reviews from other suppliers, including West Hall Wagon Works and also York model making as well. So it's fair to say that you've been swayed by the power of TT? I can certainly see the, the value in TT 120. Um, it's a nice new addition to the British outline scales. It is very embryonic in terms of that. So you know, the, the amount of products that are available outside of what Hornby is doing is at the moment a little bit limited, but I have seen other manufacturers stepping in, like for example, West Hill Wagon Works is doing a lot of 3D printed products. You've got York model making, making um, scratch building aids as well in terms of windows and doors and little details like that. So there are people coming forward with TT 120 20 products as well. Um, so it'd be exciting to see where it goes from here. So very much a case of watch this space. Absolutely, and we've got our full review of the new A4s, the Mark 1s, and the Pullman cars in the latest issue of Hornby Magazine. That's issue 193, our July 2023 issue, uh, together with that spread of accessories as well from those suppliers. Uh, and uh, do look out for more on TT120 in future issues of the magazine as we cover more of the new products that are coming through. Absolutely. Well, look, thank you for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed watching our review of the TT items that we've got here and watching the Model Railway operating on Mike's desk. Thank you for watching and bye for now.